Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be simplifying an algebraic expression. We're given that a plus b plus c is equal to zero and obviously you don't want any of these numbers to be zero because it's going to make the denominator zero and the fraction will be undefined. So we are supposed to simplify a to the seventh plus b to the seventh plus c to the seventh divided by abc times the quantity a to the fourth plus b to the fourth plus c to the fourth. So in order to simplify this expression, I'm going to take a plus b plus c and manipulate it very many times. So bear with me, there's a lot of manipulations. Let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is take a plus b plus c and square it. Since it's equal to zero, its square is also going to equal zero. Let's go ahead and expand it. We get a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus two times the quantity ab plus ac plus b b c equals zero. Okay, let's go ahead and isolate a squared plus b squared plus c squared from here and write it as negative two times the quantity a b plus a c plus b c. So this is something we're going to be using so let's keep it at that and next thing I'm going to do is since I want to get to a to the fourth plus b to the fourth plus c to the fourth the sum of fourth powers I'd like to take this expression and square it. So let's go ahead and square both sides here. If I square both sides, I'm going to be getting something like this. A, to the, a squared plus b squared plus c squared squared is going to be like a to the fourth plus b to the fourth plus c to the fourth. And then it's going to add two times the quantity a squared b squared plus a squared c squared plus b squared c squared. And on the right hand side, we're going to be getting something like 4 times AB plus AC plus BC quantity squared. Okay, so I squared both sides and I got something that contains the sum of fourth powers. But I need to work on this a little bit more. So here, we got to work on this expression, AB plus AC plus BC squared. So, so let's go ahead and expand it separately and see what that looks like. So like I said earlier, we're going to be doing a lot of manipulations. So it's kind of like the same as a plus b plus c squared, but the you know variables are different. So you get a squared b squared plus a squared c squared plus b squared c squared. And then two times, we're going to get the two a products. So here, I'm going to be getting something like, I should probably add it somewhere else uh, because it's not going to fit there. So plus, I should be getting something like this, two times the quantity ab times ac. So that's going to give me a squared bc, and then ab times ac is going to be b squared ac, and then I'll get uh, c squared ab. Okay, now this is ab plus ac plus bc quantity squared. Now let's see what happens on the right hand side. I get a squared plus uh, a squared b squared plus a squared c squared plus b squared c squared. Now what I can do here is I can factor out an abc. So let's go ahead and do that. And when we do, we get a plus b plus c. Now, here's the good part. We know that a plus b plus c is equal to zero, so this whole thing is zero. So do we get a nice identity from here that tells us that ab plus ac plus bc quantity squared is the same as a squared b squared plus a squared c squared plus b squared c squared. So we can basically switch them around. But if you go back here and notice that we got this a to the fourth, b to the fourth, c to the fourth expression, and we got this a squared, b squared, and so on and so forth. Now we know that these two expressions are equal, so let's go ahead and consider that. We have now a to the fourth plus b to the fourth plus c to the fourth, plus two times. Now instead of writing uh, this a squared, b squared, plus a squared, c squared, plus b squared, c squared, here, I'm going to replace it with this one. A, a b plus a c plus b c quantity squared. Since they're equal, I can just do that. So I'm adding this instead of that. And then on the right hand side, right here, I have four times the same thing. So it's going to look like this four times a b plus a c plus b c quantity squared. Notice that I did not change anything on the right hand side of this equation. Now, but I got the same thing here. So let's go ahead and subtract two times the quantity from both sides. So we get a to the fourth plus b to the fourth plus c to the fourth is equal to two times the quantity a b plus a c plus b 
BC quantity squared. Great. So now we got something interesting for some of fourth powers and we're gonna definitely use this in our expression. So let's go ahead and save it for future use. That's the sum of fourth powers. And notice that in my original expression, I have it at the bottom. So the next thing I wanna do is calculate the sum of seventh powers because remember the problem is asking uh, us to simplify this expression right here. And in that expression, in addition to the sum of fourth powers, I also have the sum of seventh powers. But to get to the seventh power directly would be a little more complicated. So I wanna get the sum of third powers. I'll show you in a little bit why the sum of cubes will be helpful. So for that purpose, I would like to use another identity here. So, and that identity involves a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus three abc. Now, from previous videos, if you've seen those videos, in those videos, we proved that this polynomial is divisible by a plus b plus c. Okay, so we can easily prove that. That's not hard to do, but time constraints, we're not gonna do it today. But anyways, so this polynomial is divisible by a plus b plus c, but what is the other factor? Even though it doesn't matter, I can tell you what it is. The other factor is gonna be a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus ab minus ac minus bc. Why did I say it doesn't matter? Because we know that a plus b plus c is equal to zero, so the right-hand side is completely zero. Now, what is that supposed to give us? a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus three abc equals zero. So this is always true. If a plus b plus c is equal to zero, there are problems that are asking for something like this, then we can safely say that the sum of the cubes is equal to three times the product, which is really nice because we can also use this in some problems that involve Vieta's formulas. So that's another thing that I'd like to use. I got the sum of the cubes and I got the sum of the fourth powers. How do you think I'm gonna put these together? Obviously, I wanna get the sum of the seventh powers and I'm not gonna raise anything to the seventh power. I don't wanna do it, but instead, I wanna take these two expressions and multiply them. Why? Because it's gonna give me the sum of seventh powers. Of course, I'm gonna be getting some extra terms, but that's okay, we can handle them algebraically. So let's go ahead and do the following. Let's take the sum of the fourth powers and multiply that by the sum of cubes. And let's see what this gives us. And then when we get this product, of course, we have the right-hand sides, we have to multiply them, but let's go ahead and simplify this first, and then I'm gonna set it equal to the products on the right-hand side. All right, I'll go back to this. Okay, cool. Now let's go ahead and distribute this. It's gonna give me a to the seventh plus a to the fourth b cubed plus a to the fourth c to the, oops, there's a typo there. This is supposed to be c cubed, not seventh power. We're gonna get to the seventh power from this though. So that's gonna be a to the fourth c cubed. And then I'm gonna distribute the b to the fourth, but let's just follow you know, alphabetical order, a cubed b to the fourth, plus b to the seventh plus b to the fourth c cubed. And finally distribute to c to the fourth. That's gonna give you a cubed c to the fourth plus b cubed c to the fourth plus c to the seventh. Now, I wanted to get the sum of the seventh powers from here, and I got it, but I also got some additional terms, which is okay. I got a to the seventh plus b to the seventh plus c to the seventh. And then what else did I get? And can I factor them? And the answer is yes. You can group them like this. You got a to the fourth b cubed with a cubed b to the fourth. So you can write it as a cubed b cubed multiplied by a plus b. And guess what? This is just gonna repeat with different variables. I can do a to the fourth c cubed with a cubed c to the fourth. So take out a cubed c cubed and you'll get a plus c. And then finally, I'll take this and that, and that's gonna be b cubed c cubed multiplied by b plus c. So that basically concludes the left-hand side, but I can simplify this a little bit more. So we'll, we're still gonna do a little bit more manipulation. As I said earlier, bear with me because we're gonna be doing a lot of algebra today. Okay, a plus b. Now, what can I replace a plus b with and why do I want to replace it? First of all, let me tell you what I can replace it with. We know that a plus b plus c is equal to zero, right? So what that's supposed to mean? Well, it means that a plus b can be replaced with negative c. Awesome. a plus c can be replaced with negative b. b plus c can be replaced with negative a. And why am I doing it? Because I'm getting a product here and it's factorable. It wasn't before, but now it's factorable. Great. So now I got the sum of seven powers plus, 
Now notice that I'm getting something like a cubed b cubed c, a cubed c cubed b, b cubed c cubed a. But they're all negative, so let's go ahead and take out negative a, b, c, and then inside the parentheses I should be getting a squared b squared, right, plus, because I took out a negative sign, a squared c squared plus b squared c squared. But guess what? What is that equal to? Well, we just found out that it is equal to this one, right? These two are equivalent. So instead of the right-hand side, I can write what's on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and do that because why I want to stick with the quantity AB plus AC plus BC squared all the time because at the end, that's going to help me. You'll see in a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and replace. Let's go ahead and replace this with what it is. So I got a to the 7th plus b to the 7th plus c to the 7th minus abc multiplied by ab plus ac plus bc quantity squared. Again, we know that a squared b squared plus a squared c squared plus b squared c squared is equal to the quantity ab plus ac plus bc squared. Make sense? Hopefully it does. But this is just the left hand side, right? We multiply the, the sum of fourth powers with sum of cubes or third powers, but I didn't multiply the right-hand sides. So what am I getting if I multiply the stuff on the right-hand side? Well, 2 times 3 equals 6. I think you know that. And then I'm getting ABC, and then I'm getting my AB plus AC plus BC quantity squared. So let's go ahead and write it down on the right-hand side. So the right-hand side is just going to fit on another the line. So it's going to be 6ABC times the quantity AB plus AC plus bc squared. And where does that come from again? It comes from the product of these two things. N because remember that I multiplied this by that on the left hand side, so I have to take care of the right hand side as well. All right? So this is what I have now for the sum of the seventh powers, but it's not complete because I still have to isolate the sum of seventh powers. Let's go ahead and do it. Now I have the same quantity on different sides. I have it negative 1 times on the left hand side and 6 times on the right hand side. If I, so if I add the same quantity, I'll be getting it 7 times. Awesome. 7 is the magic number here. And I'm going to get this expression. So now I have a formula for the sum of 7th powers. Great. So do I have everything I need? Let's go ahead and check it out. I got this for the sum of 7th powers. And what am I trying to do? What was my original expression? We kind of lost track here, right? Well, my original expression was like this. The sum of the 7 powers divided by the product ABC times the sum of the 4th powers. Now, I did get something for the sum of 7 powers. Cool. What about the 4th powers? Well, the sum of the 4th powers is just equal to that. So why don't I replace the sum of the fourth powers with that and everything with whatever that is. And let's just finalize this. Okay, the sum of seven powers will be replaced with 7ABC times the quantity AB plus AC plus BC squared. And at the bottom, I'm going to be getting ABC, obviously, multiplied by what is the sum of the fourth powers? It was two times the quantity AB plus AC plus BC squared. Great. We're almost done. Let's go ahead and simplify this and finish up. Notice that this ABC cancels out. The quantity AB plus AC plus BC squared cancels out. And I end up with 7 divided by 2. So my original expression, which was A to the 7th plus B to the 7th plus C to the 7th divided by ABC times the quantity, the sum of the fourth powers equals 7 halves if a plus b plus c is equal to zero. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.